a servant of God, I am Robert Simon, beloved in Christ, loving greetings. Some time back, one of my friends, we were together from class 1, we are still friends, a good Christian, asked me about sustainable faith. What is this sustainable faith or staggering faith? We, in fact, don't see these jargons or terminologies in the Bible. We, however, can see these two types of faith in the saints of the Bible. Hebrew 11, 7 By faith, with confidence in God and God's word, no being warned of God, having received a divine message from God, of things not seen as yet, concerning the things not seen as yet. We have never seen a deluge, never seen rain, there were no boats, no ships. It is almost impossible to form a concept of a worldwide natural catastrophe. It took 120 years for that rain to come. His faith was very strong. It was sustainable not only for 120 years, but till he could what he hoped for. This is sustainable faith. In the very next verse, in Hebrew 11.8, we read, By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whither he went. Here also we see faith resulted in implicit obedience and absolute surrender to a divine message. And that obedience was certainly beyond any reasoning. Abraham, who left Wu, not knowing whether he went, halted at Padanaram, where his relatives were there. God reminded Abraham of his calling. Abraham came to Cana. When there was a famine, he left Egypt. God again intervened. Abraham came back to Cana, but with Hagar, Hagar came into the picture as a personal maid for Sarah. At one point in his life, Abraham thought that his manager Eleazar could be his successor as he had no child. Abraham could not wait for God's promise as it was beyond any reasoning. An alternative to God's plan was dawned. An alternative to God's plan dawned. Hagar, brought from Egypt then, had become his wife now. One wrong begets another wrong. Result, Ismail was born. Now Abraham thought Ismail could be his successor. Abraham believed in God, worshipped God, was God's friend. God appeared to him. God spoke to Abraham, but Abraham was staggering in his faith. All these staggerings were in a period of 24 or more years. Then, when God promised Abraham about Isaac, in the book of Genesis chapter 17, verses 17 and 18, Abraham laughed and said unto God, Oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. Abraham was staggering in his faith and acting on his own reasonings. Then what happened? I will, God willing, continue in my next talk with you about Abraham's faith. Till then, God bless you, God be with you. I am yours, Robert Simon.